then I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go with, oh, probably a, uh, swiping, maybe? No, we're not going to be swiping. Oh, crap. Uh, I got to get that little spot there. Um, no, not soybean. How about um, wheat? Yeah. I think we're going to plant a whole bunch of wheat here in this field. I'll put barley over on that field that had oats. Just kind of cycle stuff around a little bit. Uh, Short-term aim is to merely get... Um, Sorry, I have to think when I'm doing this. Um, Short-term goal is to get enough money to get a corn head for the um, for the tractor, or not the tractor, geez, for the um, harvester. Because I want the option to do corn. I might not. I might not get it right away. But I mean, short-term goal is to have a corn head. long-term goal is actually to have a planter that can plant corn because I just I'm like yeah well that's gonna be a problem because I have no way to plant corn mm. yeah I know just just hush <laughs> oh fun times uh yeah and uh, I, I unfortunately I also have to buy a fuel bowser so we're gonna kind of be burning some cash there that I didn't want to burn quite yet That's unfortunate, but I don't really have an option. So if I want to fuel my vehicles, I've got to get fuel here because otherwise I have to drive uh, all the way out to the farm shop, which is a good bit away. And I don't think um, the New Holland will actually make that trip. So I was using the New Holland to do um, uh, the straw over there for a bit. And it's got about 10 liters in it. So if I uh, recollect properly, is not going to get me to the store. So then, then, well, then I'm just screwed. Um, I wish I could siphon gas out of the uh, the harvester and put it into the tractors, but alas and lack, that is not a possibility. All right, so you guys don't want to watch me do this any more than I want to... Um, talk through doing this. I could put it on high speed, but that would still involve me actually doing it, I think. Uh, do you really want that? Is that really what you want? Do you really want to see this at high speed? All right, fine. And now we do plowing fast. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you aren't going to be like, oh God, a fast plow. But... Yeah, might as well, right? Show you how derp I can be at really trying to plow. And it's not too bad, I promise. I sped this up at 400 times. 400 times? Four times. 400 speed. Whatever. <laughs> um, you know what? I have real respect. I've always had real respect for plowing. Anybody who can plow properly, because I can't, and I know this. Um, I try. It does. It's these these plows like this one that are that are side mount they're not side mounted but they they hang out to the side it confuses me and and part of it is just the game but um it's like where does where does the furrow really start oh, i'm so confused so that, that's where i like that arrow plow that i reviewed earlier this week um because it's just it's right behind the tractor it works it's so easy um, i'm sure i could still derp that up So yeah, we're we're just um, it's it's sort of zen in the motion. Also, I sort of when I started it, I was like, okay, this is gonna suck. But I mean, you can kind of look at the clock on the top. It's eight sixteen, and this is moving at real time. The clock up there. So eight sixteen, you can kind of see when this ends. It's gonna be a while, but. Um, yeah, I found as I got into it, it was sort of just like zen in the motion, which was cool. 
I'm, I'm sure it's much more difficult when you're doing it in real life and, you know, somebody might yell at you if you screw up your plow line or something. I don't know how that works. Honestly, I watch the guys do plowing around here and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I don't want to do that. There you go. Well, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the specials that you are getting with this season. Um, it sort of became out of necessity. It's way too much to do in, in a one-per-week type deal. So, um, yeah, like I said, no guarantees this is going to keep going every week. But I'm going to make a good go of it. If I miss a few, I might, you know, if I miss a few, I'm just going to miss a few. But I usually am trying to work far enough in advance to avoid that. But we'll see. Um, I know some of you aren't happy with this map um, for one reason or another, though I don't know what anybody's real reasons are, because all I hear is, I don't like the map. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the map. It's, it's a very big challenge. If you haven't played it, um, there are a lot of map-specific scripts running that really make this more difficult. Everything from... The tractors use more fuel to, um, well, you've seen the prices. The prices are just ridiculously low. But, um, and then um, triggers, not having triggers in various places. It just, it, it opens up a whole new level of difficulty that you don't get in a lot of other maps. Now, I could certainly move some of these scripts to another map, but... Um, Right now I'm okay with this map. It is definitely a map that if you play with friends, <laughs> there's some value to this map. But uh, yeah, it's a challenge as a single player. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we make a lot of money, <laughs> though I kind of doubt that that's actually gonna happen. Right, we'll see what happens, you know. I only got 15,000 down there right now. I know something you don't know because I've finished the episode. <laughs> uh, stay tuned to see the derp and the success. Yeah. So pulling these fields together, I'm hoping, is going to be a big plus because I'm going to get more yield. I mean, not necessarily more yield, but I'm going to get... I think by pulling the fields together and planting them in a single crop... Uh, it's going to let me rotate a little bit easier because let's be honest if both fields come ripe at the same time I'm going to be struggling because I only have a single harvester to do this so my thought was pull them together and then plant the field wait till it hits its third growth color and then plant the other field um, because then about the time the first field comes comes ripe then um, and you start harvesting by the time you finish it the other one should be in like a second maybe third coloration and that's sort of what I'm hoping to do it allows me to bounce back and forth across the farm until I can buy um, another field then I just screw up my entire system and I have to figure out a new system but you know and not everything is perfect right kind of like my plow job not everything's perfect uh, you guys asked for the fast plow last season, and I didn't do it because it was much more than this in terms of size. Um, but here you go. Here's a fast plow. I might do some other high-speed stuff this, uh, this season as well. So never fear. If you don't like fast plow, maybe I'll do fast... Uh, I don't know. Certainly not fast harvest. Because I always have something else to do. That's something. I'm sure I can find something to do. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think about these high-speed montages. Um, and, yeah. Let me know your other thoughts about what uh, what I should and should not be doing on this map. Just realize that money is a limit. What the heck was I doing there? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. 
we're about to go back to normal speed. I will leave you with the enjoyable music until we return to normal time here on the farm. All right, we're making our last pass. Then we got to clean up some goof ups. I think there's a couple, just a couple. Not too many. I don't think I did too terribly bad. Oh, and I goof up right there. No, I don't think I did terribly bad. I missed some stuff here and there, but by and large, you know, for, for somebody who doesn't plow very often, terrible. Wasn't great, but wasn't terrible either. So what we'll do is we'll uh, finish up this last bit of plowing, that, and then I saw one little booger up here that we'll run up here and get. Just kind of like a quick visual check as we go up here. Nothing really going to jump out at me, I don't think. And I see a little booger coming up on us right now. And gone. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to restrict the field now, just in case. So now I'm going to go ahead and come over here, and I'm going to do the headland really quick. And um, yeah, after the headland, I'm going to go get, uh, probably going to have to go look at how much a fuel Bowser is. I might remember way back in season one of the mod spotlights I did a little chieftain Bowser I think I think I'm gonna have to go pull that little chieftain Bowser off of my uh, storage drive and put it in here because it was a decent little thing and I believe believe it was cheaper than the in-game Bowser it was smaller too, but really in the end I don't care too much. My problem is more with lack of money. Count de money. Count de money. Alright. Enough of that. Let's open up our pronto. There, I think. <laughs> Hit F1 so that I can actually... All right, so... B, B, go. Go. Lovely. Now, hopefully it'll all grow up to be wonderful grass. And we can uh, enjoy our, our grassland. I'm going to do two passes, I think, with the uh, Pronto here. So I think that'll be plenty of grass. And, um... They'll give us good headland as well. I might have to do a midget pass on this side here, because I bet... Yep. Oh, my. Oh, I'm going to have to go get the plow on that, aren't I? I just leave that ugly little strip there. Uh, I'll probably go get the plow off screen and plow that. Okay, come in. Oh well. And stop. Turn it off. Yeah, I'll get the plow off screen to get these little little areas where the the crop. Technically, it was outside of the realm of our field. Um, just, just sort of sad panda. Oh, well. My OCD just does not... I have a mild amount of OCD. My OCD just does not want to uh, accept that. Oh, we'll have to fix it.
But we'll fix it later because it's not urgent right now to fix. go so this will be a nice big headland and it'll be grass that will be able to turn into hay and then we'll have hay for the the uh, cows in the mix bin also be able to cut grass for the sheep so it'll uh, it'll serve plenty of purposes to me that's important I don't like the fact when 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 you reseed with grass, I don't like the fact that the frickin' road comes back. It's stupid. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. It's better grow. It's better grow. And stop. Turn it off. Okay, now. To here. We're going to go to wheat. So, get this guy sorted out here. Okay. All right. Fire. Off you go. Ciao for now brown cow. <laughs> Alright, let's check the uh, the price of the in-game fuel bar. Oh, 8500 I thought it was like 15000 I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. I don't. Alright. If I want to actually use all my equipment, I need fuel, so there you go. If I could siphon fuel out of the uh, excavator and the uh, the, le the class Lexion and the the uh, bullnose, I'd be doing great, but I can't. So now where'd I put the Ford? Grief. Oh, there it is over there. All right. So we're gonna we'll run to the store and grab our. Uh, Fuel Bowser. And pay the... We'll have to run over to the... To the uh, farm shop. Swing out to the farm shop to get the, um, the Bowser filled. And then we'll be able to refuel our equipment, which is good. Um, we're also going to pick up some... Uh, Straighten that out. Um, we'll also um, see about cutting some grass, maybe. Yeah, I might try to cut some of the roadside grass. It wasn't working when I switched to the Hagenstadt textures. I, I wasn't getting any sort of grass trail or anything, which was really annoying. But uh, that could have been because I screwed up the switch out of the textures that were in here. Which is highly likely. Oh, look, the John Deere is now running lower on fuel. Good. Because I wanted to deal with that, too. All right. Well, now, whatever. Uh, oh, we can sell eggs while we're out here. Because I, I, I think I saw an egg sell point at the farm shop. Which is good, because I'm carrying like 100 eggs on me or some crazy thing like that. Oh, I bought this without coming here. Oops. Sorry. Completely, completely like spaced there. Truck back up. Oh well. Go. Jeez. All right. Reverse. Thank you. All right. There we go. All right. Let's head to the farm shop. Fill up our trailer. Lovely fuel, so we can actually uh, actually make use of our Ford. Because uh, otherwise, that New Holland is just going to sit there and uh, do nothing. Speaking of, this Ford is going to need fuel soon too. Oh, what's money, right? Right. 
what is money after all? I'll uh, collect this oat straw and sell that. And hopefully I'll make me a little bit of coin on the side. Um, what else? That's really it. That's all I got. Let's see how many eggs I got on me. 181 eggs. I'm carrying 181 eggs. They're in the back of the truck. You just can't see them. That's what we're going to go with. Uh... All right, now, let's see here. R. Great. All right, well, that's going. Run around back and sell our eggs. 181 eggs. Here we go. Well, that was nice. That might pay for most of our fuel. No, it won't. It'll pay for a chunk of our fuel. Eh, okay, not really. Well, it does. It pays for some of our fuel. And I figure if I fill the sucker all the way up and park it, I won't really need to fill it too much more. I mean, 4,500 liters. Yeah, I'm going to have to do probably a couple. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, I'm probably going to have to fill it up a couple times, but... You know, it, it's an investment. <laughs> it's an investment. That's what I'm going to call it. what I'm going with. <laughs> the pack wheel isn't touching again. <laughs> so all the equipment that I was like, oh yeah, I can just sell that equipment and get it and and yay. Well I can't because I need to go I need to use the tether and the wind rower. Actually I might not need oh no I do need to wind rower. Sort of depends on what I'm doing, I guess. Hmm. I might not need the wind rower. So I used a class quantum to pick up the grass. I don't think I need the wind rower. I might be able to sell the wind rower. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'm thinking that might be a good idea to sell that wind rower. The tractor up there on the hill. Yeah, because... Well, I guess I'll, I'll try it out. How about that? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it out. So I say, what do you guys think? But the, the reality of this is... Uh, this is all recorded so far in advance at this point. Because of my work. That, uh... Yeah. Probably three episodes or two episodes or one episode ahead. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I am. There's good days and there's bad days. That's what I'm going with. All right. I might actually have more fuel in this New Holland than I thought, but... Uh, what was I going to do? Oh. All right. Let's find out how much fuel we got in New Holland. There might be more fuel than I thought. Oh, yeah, 55 liters. All right, so I didn't see the other five. Still a heck, not a heck of a lot. All right, let's refill that. Going to watch the fuel on the uh, John Deere. Like how you can see the John Deere, but you can't see the planter. <laughs> Magic. Enough. Don't need to fill it all the way up. All right, let's go cut some grass to see if we can feed the sheep to get some sheep's wool going, because that would be important and good. Cool. I'm just going to cut with this, um, with just the front on here. 
Let's see. Field position. Attach to PTO. And then, oops, turn, turn, turn. Where is it? 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 Oh, it's over there. Oh my goodness! I'm losing all my stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna go get the quantum here. Get it to collect some grass. Hopefully it collects grass. Should collect grass. Does it collect grass? Yeah, it collects grass. What am I do talking about? It collected grass last time. Go. Back down a little bit so that's not so derp. Oops. Okay, so stop there. Turn on the wagon. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now we got to sell some grass. Perfection. Not much, mind you, but what I'm planning on doing with this is feeding some sheep. Gonna feed some sheep. Aw, sheep. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just dump the rest into the cow's niche station. Should be good. Alright. Yeah, that's gonna work out really well. Really nice. So then we'll just do the same thing with the uh, with the stuff that we just planted over there, because um, that'll be um, that'll be good. Yeah, I'm thinking I really probably don't need the wind rower because all the wind rower is going to do is put stuff into a line for me. With the class quantum, so I'm not planning on bailing much because what am I going to use the bailing for? I'm thinking about it. I might maybe I should sell the baler because seriously, what am I going to bail for if with the niche station? I don't really need to store anything. I don't need it in bales. It actually works just fine out that without the bales. So I could sell the wind rower and the baler. That would be a nice little little pocket of coin right there. And I'm a derp. And don't even think about the fact that the trailer's going to take a different track. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, because if I sell that wind rower and I sell that baler... I'm just, I'm just trying to think, do I really need bales? And I'm really thinking I don't. Because the bales... Bales aren't going to give me anything, I don't think. Nothing that I can't get by just using the, the trailer here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Always decisions. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking that's gonna go. We could use the money, especially looking down there at three thousand eight hundred and twenty-two dollars. Oy. The baler on there, that on there, yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm about to run over this thing up here. here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of it, but I did it. <laughs> I'm trying to 
collect all this grass. And then we're going to go sell that equipment because why wouldn't I sell it if I don't think I'm going to use it? I know some of you are like, bail, bail, bail. But I don't think I'll use it, so... Am I gaining anything by keeping it other than a higher daily maintenance cost? And I still have to fertilize that giant field over there. And it took me three run, three refills almost to do that field. So it's going to take me like six or seven refills to do that big field over there. Mm. Uh, yeah, I ran over some. I didn't have the blades on though. <laughs> Turn that off. Let's go. Let's go uh, drop off some feed for the sheeps really quick. Yay, sheep feed. Mm, sheep feed. Yay. Sheep are happy. Okay, let's drop this right there. Okay, yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the baler and the I gotta get the wind rower back on there. Cracker jacks. I can get the baler and the wind rower on there. Yeah. And I also know of at least one more trip to the uh, shop I need to make. I'll do that in a minute. We're gonna start with what I what I said initially. So let's go hook up and get rid of some of this equipment. I know some of you are like, ah, why are you doing this? Because you want me to, I don't know. The other way. There we go. You want me to keep all the equipment and use all the equipment, but at what I currently have in operating capital Saying, just saying. Right, so my sheep are now going to be at 100%, which is good. It's always important to have 100% sheep. My cows are not because they don't have the forage, but we're going to take care of their forage as soon as we can. Really? Well, yeah, really, because that was a really terrible backing job. Go. Oh. And do you think we can do this in one run? I think we can. I'm just going to have to be really, really, really careful about how I put this massive baler up here. Bad paler. Bad baler. Okay. So just go straight back. That's what I want you to do. Now don't do the hopscotch. It's not what I want you to do.
Huh. Uh, 